I'm actually going on my own. <laughs> Lucy's gonna stay back at the hotel, she's not a big fan of Drake, but I'm going on my own over to the O2. It's gonna be a wicked night, but we have just got here, as you guys will have seen. We're trying to find the hotel. Hi, um, we're trying to get into the building, but it's not letting us in. Uh, your key's not working? Yeah. Okay. Just one second. Thank you. So the hotel is actually gifted thanks to Lucy's blog and like our social media and stuff. We're actually being gifted the like the hotel experience. So big thank you to Point A Hotels. From like a promotional point of view, they haven't actually asked me to put anything like on YouTube. Uh, but I'm just gonna say thank you to the guys at Point A Hotels anyway uh, for the free hotel. But doors don't actually open at the O2 for another couple of hours. Uh, it's like 20 past five right now. So I think we're gonna go and we walk past some like really nice food places over there. So I think we're gonna go and have a little bit of dinner uh, and then I'm probably not even gonna get there right when doors open to be fair because I'm on my own so I can just like push my way through the fucking crowd and get to the front anyway. I can push my way through the fucking crowd. Nobody's gonna fuck with me, man. <laughs> get out of the way, bitches. Maybe <laughs> coming through. So yeah, I'm probably gonna get there for like half seven, eight o'clock, something like that. Don't think Drake is actually coming on until about nine. So we've got a little bit of time to kill. Alright guys, so I'm back at the hotel now, as you can see, and what a wicked, wicked night. That was absolutely unbelievable. I hope you guys enjoyed those little clips. I obviously didn't take my big cam out, but <clears throat> my voice has taken an absolute beating, as you might be able to tell. So we're gonna get some rest, and I'll catch up with you guys in the morning. Yeah. 
Yeah, um, can I have one big breakfast box, please? Um, can I have a bacon and egg muffin? Yeah. Uh, and one cup of tea. And just a filter coffee as well, please. Good morning, guys. Actually, more like just before the afternoon, but it is the next day and we are up and we are fresh. Got back really, really late last night. As you guys will have seen, it was like midnight, but super, super tired after the uh, after the show. So basically went to bed straight away, but we got a really, really good night's sleep and we are up and we are at it on a Saturday, but we haven't actually got anything planned today. We knew that was gonna be the case. We know every time we come to London, we always obviously have like something planned or somewhere to be at a certain time. But today, oi. Oh, I see where we are. Go that way. So the shard is like there then. Oh, I see where we are. Shard's Yeah. Can they see that? Can you see that? See the top of the shard? But yeah, we were literally like, you know what? We'll just have a day in London. Nothing planned. Just going to be tourists today, really. Could we just have Oreo cookies and milk chocolate, please? Milk chocolate. Yeah. Thank you. Mm. It is bloody freezing today. Where's the sun gone? Considering it's like technically springtime in the UK, the weather forecast as well said it was going to be like 16, 17 degrees. So we dressed for the, for the sun. And uh, yeah, it's cold, man. I was actually going to buy a hoodie last night as well. At, uh, like a tall one, Drake. But I ended up just getting the t-shirt instead. So now I'm paying for it because it's freezing, but we're gonna soldier on. We've come out of Central now over to Stratford. Uh, it's getting on a bit, it's the time. Quarter four in the afternoon. Since the last week, guys, we popped over to like Kensington area. Uh, had a little walk around the Natural History Museum for like an hour, it was all right. Not quite as good as the the museum in New York that we went to, but I think the plan is to find like a little restaurant, have a little bit of an early dinner because we are starving. And just like that, guys, we have found this little lunch spot, kind of like a knockoff Nando's, uh, but it looks really, really good. We've gone for this kind of like fried chicken curry, and Lucy is just. Oh, it looks really boring, actually. It does. <laughs> bland, isn't it? Just gone for some chicken breast and some fries. Done and dusted. Back in the end, back in Ipswich. Feeling proper tired now. Last night definitely catching up on me, but. We're gonna grab a quick taxi home, catch up with you guys in a minute. All right guys, so it's actually the next day. We actually got back last night and literally didn't do anything at all. We literally just sat in front of the TV. It was proper, proper tired. Um, the weekend definitely, definitely caught up with me. But now we're back and settled. Just wanted to talk about the Drake gig really quick because it was freaking amazing. I actually went to see him on his last tour, which was in like 2017. Um, and this one was way, way better. Like the whole thing was just absolutely crazy. And as you guys would have seen, the guest that he brought out on stage, basically he always brings out like a big, big artist. Um, in every show so it's like people were like skeptical about who he was going to bring out and it turned out to be Jay Huss which if you didn't know he had been in jail for like a long while no one even knew he was released um, until he literally just walked out on the stage performed a couple of songs as you guys would have seen in those clips and yeah it was just absolutely mental I went completely ape shit hopefully you guys enjoyed those little clips obviously it's kind of hard to like do that and hopefully Obviously when this video goes up, I hope it doesn't get like copyrighted and shit. But yeah, those two Drake shows that I've been to, literally the two of the best concerts I've ever seen in my whole life. Like the guy just puts on a wicked, wicked show. Really, really good. But I'm gonna leave this video here guys. Really hope you have enjoyed this one. If you did, let me know down in the comment section below. 
maybe you're not even a fan of Drake. If you're not, then you probably wouldn't actually be watching this video, to be honest. So <laughs> let me know, guys, down below. I really want to hear what your favorite Drake songs are. And if you did enjoy the video, smash that thumbs up button. It would mean the absolute world to me. And if you have not already, hit that subscribe button for new videos every single week. And I'll see you in the next one.